Okay, so we learned how to trim our edges so that we get, get exactly where we want them to be. And that's where I would recommend that you, uh, how you, how I recommend that you set up your project. First of all, get all your clips in and get them exactly how you'd like them to begin and end. And then start building some of the other aspects. And the two other aspects that you're going to have right away is to add still images. And these still images are going to be to cover up these jump cuts. And let's take a look uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me uh, put the playhead right here. We'll play through across this uh, this little cut. La decisión final. Okay, that's called a jump cut. And you're going to end up with a lot of these types of things just because you have one camera angle and you have uh, just a, basically a talking head. So in order to do that, we're going to be importing uh, video, or I mean, we're going to be importing still images and audio. Now remember up here, I said all you can get, all you can import th uh, this way up here is video. So let's take a look at a couple of clever ways to get some still images and audio into your project. In order to do that, you're literally going to have to drag those in there. But this is iMovie, and iMovie is set up to kind of partner with iTunes and iPhoto. So if we wanted to uh, uh, kind of browse for some music, you can, and there there is some in here, and you can audition these. Just play them. Um, uh, uh, let's see. There's uh, let's see some. Uh, let's see these jingles here, for instance. You can just literally click and just play those, and so on. And then uh, if you wanted to get that in there, for instance, that's 39 seconds. Uh, here's the duration here. Here's one. Okay, let's just drag that in here. I'm going to show you how easy that is. Okay, now I dragged it across, but if you notice that if I don't put it on a clip, it, the whole thing turns green, and that's because it's, if you if I dropped it right now, it would do the entire background, and we don't want to do that. So always associated with a clip, and actually it doesn't really matter which one. So I'm just going to let it drop right in the middle of there. You see how I now I have a plus uh, sign and a green dot there. That's good. I'm going to let that go, and there's our little clip. We're going to play that through. Um, as I have it in the okay, and by the way, music always comes in loud. So what you want to do here is uh, reduce that volume quite a bit in here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little thin line, and I can just literally drag the whole thing up and down. There's two little dots here on the edge, and that just fades it in, which you'll want to do. Just drag them. That fades in, so it won't start so abruptly. Let's play that through again. Okay, still too loud. But you get the idea, and we can now we can drag this clip just pretty much wherever we want it. Now it's only 10 seconds, so I can't really extend it, but I I I can certainly shorten it if I wanted to. So I can't go beyond the clip's duration. No necessarily to hit from the Okay. That's one way. The only problem is the, the you know it, it's you you can only do that with things that are in iTunes. But here's a little trick that uh, you might find useful. Uh, I am going to open up my uh, external drive here. Double click in that. There we go. And if you recall back here, we put our media into our uh, stills. Or audio or video, so this is where this is going to come in real handy. I am going, and I have a few stills in there, so I'm going to drag these. Uh, actually, audio in this case, because we're we're working on the audio there. So I'm going to drag this folder, just drag it right in there. You see, it turned into a plus, and now it says folders, 
And uh, look, if, if we uh, click that open, look, it's the same thing that is in here. And it's just really making a link. So if we drag something in here, uh, let's see, do I have anything right off the bat that I can possibly drag in here? Uh, and I want you to see this update. Hopefully I can find something that's fairly short. Uh, okay, and so here's something. I'm going to just drag it right in here. And this, this just updated down here. So that is what is another benefit of working with your single hard drive. I'm going to close this out. Um, and it works the same way with the stills. Now, in iMovie, I, I don't have any pictures in there. But again, I do have some here in my... Uh, media folder in my still folder. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to drag this folder, the stills, right in here. And again it went to the folders and the stills. And now here's our pictures. Let's go over here and you see these are the same pictures and that are in here and if I add to this it will automatically update over here uh, that is something that also did not work in our in our share drive project so you have the benefit of that so while we're here and this is the only way to do this you have to drag it here's a still image now we can drag it in the right in the middle and you notice that green bar if I let go uh, it's going to be there and we'll play that through. <clears throat> um, como... Now you notice that uh, hecho de que no tengo... there's a couple of things that happen to that still picture. One is there's no there's no uh, audio there. So how would we take care of that? Here's how. We're going to detach this audio. And to do that, I just highlighted it. Now I'm going to use my control and detach the audio. Now I'm going to, since I, I really want this to end on this clip, I don't really want to drag this over, but I could. I could. But it would be part of the clip that we didn't want to hear. So remember, I click on this little arrow icon, and I'm going to drag this back. There we go. So now look what happened. Uh, we have some of the audio playing under there. We can do the same over here. First of all, we got to detach the audio. Now let's click on that and drag that back. There we go. And this is a four second clip. You really don't want it much less than that. Three seconds would be okay. To change the duration of that, we're going to just uh, do the uh, clip adjustments. And in here, it's just all we. All we can do is change it like so. We, we're not going to be doing dragging. So I'm going to just change this to like three seconds. And uh, we still have a little bit. Uh, let's do a little bit more over here. There we go. Maybe a little bit more over here. I'm trying to drag that. Here we go. Pretty close now. <laughs> A little bit more. Here we go. Now let's see how this plays. <laughs> okay. We still have that jump cut down there. Uh, but you get the idea of how that can work. <laughs> um, okay, alternately, let's choose another spot over here where we have a jump cut right here. Um, okay, so let's take this picture, 
just associated with this clip right here and this is where our advanced tools come in we want to do a cutaway and you can experiment with with some of these others but this cutaway is what we're going to use the most so here we have our cutaway up here uh, and we can drag the duration of that when it's when it, and it's the only way to to get it up there so let's see what happens here here i am in my studio um let's get that that's another way you can do it. Which is, I believe, a slight bit easier. So if you want to make that fade in and out, we're going to do some clip adjustments here. And you'll notice that it says cut away fade. Right now it has none. So let's put it on manual and just kind of leave it. Uh, right now it's like 0.5. That's, that's pretty good. So let's play this through and see what happened. M my studio there we go we got a nice fade in we still have a problem with our audio <laughs> okay and by the way you can uh, you can drag that uh, that clip in the cutaway so to speak and you'll notice that it's a little grayed out in the bottom and that tells you what part is going to fade or overlap okay and there's one more fancy way to add stills. And let's let's check this out. Let's pick on this one. Okay, right on the edge. Okay, now I'm gonna control clip and click and you can't see it's 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 beyond our what we can see down there, but it says add freeze frame. Here, I'm gonna move this up. Now let's see if we can see that a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to get that right on the edge, click, add freeze frame, boom, and there it is. And that was another one we're going to just click that one. Anyway, and there's our freeze frame. So watch what happens when we play this through. It's just literally... Vivia mi hermana. Uh, a freeze frame of this and that can be useful in a lot of instances you can take this and you could uh, you can drag this uh, around you can put it in between you cannot let's see here you see it's only going to go in but the freeze frames only go in between um, here, I'm going to get rid of this other one, I, which I had done before. This was tripping us up. <laughs> so, here we go. Vivia uh, mi hermana, he wants to pero crop. Me... Yeah. All right, I'm going to be cropping. There we go. Vivia mi hermana. So, that could be useful in, a, in certain circumstances. So, let's talk about uh, next adding... Uh, titles and let's uh, let's stop here